Hi, my name's Jane. We hardly know each other, but that's about to change. You're going to get to know a lot about me, maybe even more than you imagine. This whole thing's kind of like a blind date. I mean, here we are in your brand new Corvette, riding along the super information highway. Put your big muscular arm around me and whisper sweet things in my ear. And I promise to do whatever your heart desires, but only if you make the right moves. Just imagine watching me get propositioned by my sleazeball boss. Why, you could even make me strip for him. But if you make the wrong moves, you could turn me into a nun. Imagine that, me, a nun? Ha! Huh! I don't think so. But it's really all up to you. God knows what you'll do with that hot little mouse of yours. Point is, life's a game, and this game is full of life. You do right by me, and I guarantee I'll do right by you. But please, please don't turn me into a nun. I'm not that kind of girl. I've got a reputation. Around town, I'm known as Microwave Jane because they say I heat up faster than any micro. And when the fire chief visited, he wrote up a new code and made me wear a smoke alarm between my thighs. And in the Coast Guard, he figured I was creating tsunamis in my waterbed. And then the Pope visited said I was the only person on Earth that had been on my knees more times than he had. You know, the president's filed a string order claiming I have a romantic interest in the Washington Monument. Oh, you men can be so vicious. Look at me. Just look at me. Do I look like that type of girl? Well, if you think I'm that type of girl, you've got another thing coming, mister. Because I don't do one night stands, I don't date musicians, and I don't roll over just because you bought in this game. Fair warning. I'll be resisting your every move and enjoying your every mistake. I trust it won't be the first time you made mistakes with the opposite sex. Now listen up, the rules of the game are real simple. You see, I meet this guy in a parking lot. Now you are supposed to identify with this guy. I mean, you in your own perverse, simple-minded way are supposed to be him. Got it? Now if you make the right moves, I end up with this schlep. That is, I end up with you. But if you get real lucky, you end up saving me from the bad guy. You become my hero. And as a hero's reward, guess what? You get to take me home and have your own degenerate little way with me. Of course, if you make the wrong move, you may just end up playing with your little mouse the rest of the night. It's all up to you. Are you game? Then come with me and you'll soon discover why plumbers never wear ties when I'm around. Don't keep me in suspense. Give me the full story. Whoa, deja vu. I've seen this already. First decision, please. Don't keep me in suspense. Give me the full story.
Yeah, it's me. Leave your message at the beep and I'll come back to you. It's your mother. Now get your ass out of bed. I know you're there, John. John? I said, get up, get up, John. John, if you don't pick up this phone, I'll be in your face in five minutes. Yeah, Ma. What are you wearing today? My birthday suit. Very funny. I want you to wear that nice tie I bought for you. The polka dot tie? Get out of here. That sucks. What did you say? Uh, it, it's seersucker. I, I hate seersucker. Polka dots are not seersucker. Just wear it. It'll make a good impression. On who? The rats? Ma, I'm a plumber. Remember? Just do it for your mother. Ma! John! <sighs> yeah, okay. Okay, whatever you now, want. Now, what have you done with Amy? I got her boiling in garlic oil. Don't get smart with me. Why haven't you asked her out? Ma, I think it's pretty obvious. What did you say? I, I said she's pretty, but it's obvious I haven't had time. Well, you better make time, mister. You two are perfect together. She'll make a nice little homemaker. Mark my words, it's a match made in heaven. I think I'll wait till I get there. Stop smart-mouthing with me, young man. Why is it I haven't seen you with any woman? Why is that, John? Don't you like women anymore? <gasps> John, are, are you gay? No, Ma. I'm not gay. Thank heaven. Then what is it with you? Why haven't I met any of your girlfriends? None are right for you, Ma. You mean of all the women out there, you can't find even one to marry? One's easy. I was going to marry three at the same time. Cheaper in the long run. Figure at least one will last me a lifetime. It's like the warranty they give you when you buy a water faucet. Cut the crap and listen to me. It's time you got married. You need children. I need grandchildren. I need my only child to bear fruit. And in my lifetime, don't you love your mother? Ma, just drop it, okay? No, I won't. Amy's perfect for you. Poor thing's just waiting for you, John. She's not my type. And what is your type? Some biker slut? <sighs> you hate me. Don't you? You hate my guts. Well, don't you? Go on, admit it. Ma, it's just... I'm sick and tired of your excuses. Now, I'm having Amy over for dinner tonight, and I want you there. Well, I'm busy. You be there and sick sharp, mister. Ma, you're making me late for work. Love you, You hear me, John? I said sick sharp. Ma. I'm expecting you. Daddy. Where are you, Jane? You called me, Daddy. Don't you know where I'm at? How the hell am I supposed to know that? Now where the hell are you? I'm home, Daddy. What the hell are you doing home? Earth to Daddy. Come in, please. Why the hell aren't you married yet, Jane? In that last scene, that bitch of a mother told her son to have kids. Now I'm telling you, I want some too. Your clocks are ticking. Now why the hell haven't you been productive? I haven't had time, Daddy. For Christ's sake, girl, how long does it take these days? You ain't that busy. Now, damn it, Jane, you get on the stick and make some babies for your poor old father before he dies. Honey, why don't you come down to the lodge with me Friday night? The lodge? Those guys are all geeks and dorks. Yeah, well, maybe they're geeks and dorks, but they can make babies in less time than it takes you to put on shoes. That's just the problem. Daddy, I gotta get to my new job. New job? What happened to the last one? Oh, all the guys kept hitting on me. What? Did you hit him back? You should have hit him back. Who the hell were they? No one hit my daughter. It's okay, Daddy. It's okay. It didn't hurt. Love you. Have a nice day, Daddy. Where do I get my hands on? I'll kill him.
8 o'clock and I'm seeing a 10. What I wouldn't give to do her plumbing. I'd call that better living through chemistry. This is Harry Armas. Welcome aboard. Please extinguish all smoking materials during this story because it's going to get hot enough as it is. And fasten your seat belts because I'm about to turn this story over to you. Your mission, should you accept it, is to get these two lovebirds together. You know how difficult it is in real life. One wrong move, and you're sitting home alone on a Saturday night. One wrong move here, and the consequences for these lovers could be dire and unexpected. Fair warning, sport. Go ahead. Make their day, and your choice. But you better make it damn good. Remember, we're keeping score. So, who do you want to make the first move? If you want John to do it, hit A now. Jane may be daddy's girl, but she's no slouch when it comes to getting what she wants. Besides, John's really a whim. Jane makes a move on him before he can count to ten. Watch out, John. These two aren't ready to meet each other yet. Have them do it later on. Hi. Hi there. Hey, sport. How you doing? Guess who? It's Harry, your buddy. I knew I could count on you to screw up this story. Way to go. We got their adrenaline flowing, pumped up their interest, and you just let them walk away? You really bit off on that romantic sunset choice. What a wimp. Hope you don't wait for romantic settings to meet someone. Let this be a lesson to you. Wait, wait, you may be saved. John's having second thoughts. Let's listen in. I get some balls when it comes to meeting chicks. Maybe if my skin were a different color. Chicks don't like white guys anymore. They think we're too straight. Anglo's got no rhythm. If only I were someone else. I'm not his type. Damn. Those bikers are looking for someone kinky. Maybe I should look more kinky. Nah. He's not for me. I just want to meet some nice guy. Maybe if I were small breasted and, and just normal. Hey, babe, looking for some action? What do you got in mind, cowboy? Oh, maybe go to my place, you know, hang out, have a beer, get laid, you know. Get laid? <laughs> You're gonna need some help in that department. What do you mean, help? You saying I ain't man enough for you? I'm just your size. You won't be after this. Ooh. want is a normal guy. Maybe it is time I settled down. I just want a normal life, you know, nothing special. Just a small house in the suburbs with lots of friends, a shaggy dog, a white jeep station wagon, maybe a bit part at the local playhouse every now and then, canasta on Saturday afternoons with the neighborhood wives, maybe an affair with the meter man. If only I could meet the right guy.
you, my love? The one I've waited all my life for? Yes, yes, my darling. Hey, don't touch my hair. I don't give a damn about your hair, lover boy. You don't know how long I've waited for someone like you. I have to know everything about you. Well, I graduated summa cum laude from USC in business. I work for Schleim and Schleim as a broker. I drive a black Beamer, own a condo in Encino, and make over $200,000 a year. Hey, I got a quarter of a million dollars in the bank. I just got a hair implant. You like it? I vacation in Con every summer. You think I need a nose job? And I date at least one new woman a month. Guess what? You're Miss July. Oh, God. I thought you were different because you rode a motorcycle. It's not mine. I was just sitting on it. You could take your damn nose job and shove it. Maybe if I were blonde. Yeah, like more Scandinavian looking. Girls go for that. Yeah, maybe that's it. Only I were more exotic looking. Wait a minute. Wait up. I don't know. Call me crazy, but all of a sudden I feel like a different man. And you've changed too. I'm in love with you now. You're so erotic. I love you, you Amazon. What? Are you crazy? I haven't changed one bit. No. There's something different about you now. Yeah, there's something different. I'm getting angry. What kind of a come on is this anyway? Get out of here, you preppy. I want a real man. Wait a minute. Just because I cook souffles doesn't mean I can't... Can't what? I'm a real man. I'm also caring and sensitive. I love the arts, theater, children, grandparents, and chocolate chip cookies. You are so worried about your self-image. I bet you can't even get it up. Can't so. I doubt it. I can't get it up. Can't. You bull like bitch. You women just love to put down wimps. I mean men, don't you? Admit it. It's become a national pastime for you women. Hasn't it? Hasn't it? I hate women like you. I'll kill you for this. Champ, feeling down? This story even gave you extra characters to fool around with. And you still couldn't get the two lovebirds together. What is it with you anyway? You skipped breakfast this morning? You want another chance? Well, I suppose. Now put your tail between your legs and go back to the original choices. And do the right thing. All right, all right, I promise to do the right thing this time. Just give me another chance, okay? So, who do you want to make the first move? If you want John to do it, hit A now. Hi, my name's John. I'd like to make you, uh, uh, I mean, meet you. <laughs> At least he speaks his mind. Hi, I'm Jane. God, he's cute. Great smile. Jane? John and Jane. Corny. I guess I could change my name to Tarzan. You know what, I really have to go, but it's nice meeting you, John. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing later? For lunch. Can I buy you lunch? I can't seem too eager. Let's see how he handles rejection. Uh, I don't think wait, so. Wait, 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 wait. How about dinner? A weekend in Paris. Five minutes of conversation. I promise I'll be good. Hey, sport. Harry again. John made the first move just like you wanted him to. But now she's slipping from his grasp. 
we know she'd like to meet him. She knows she'd like to meet him. But does John know she'd like to meet him? What's a guy to do? It's up to you, sport. John throws caution to the wind and pursues Jane. Be careful! I can't let this beauty slip through my fingers. Flowers and leather? This guy's different. Interesting. To the most beautiful woman I've ever met. You're a charmer. Thank you. They're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. Come on, just lunch, please. You know what? I'd love to, but today's my first day on the job, and I don't even know where my lunch break is. She's weakening. Flowers are magic. Simple, I'll just wait for you, here in the parking lot. You're crazy. About you? Yes. Just give me a chance. Please. Persistent. I like that. Great looking bod, too. Give me your work number and I'll call you about lunch. Uh, 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 today, uh, today's not a good day. Uh, why? What do you do? Uh-oh. She's trolling for financial data already. Damn. I know. I'll just lie. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a rep. You know, uh, yeah, a representative. Oh, an account rep. My new boss is some kind of an account rep. Maybe you know him. Mark Thresher? Oh, yeah, yeah, Mark. Mark Thresher, sure. He rings a bell. I uh, probably had a drink with him at one of uh, the exclusive account rep clubs around here. Oh, my goodness, maybe you two work in the same office. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, no, no, no. Different offices. How do you know? Uh, well, you see, I'm an independent. I work my own account rep territory. I got my own office. Your own office? You must be very successful. Oh, I do all right. I'm really late. I'll tell you what. Why don't you give me your home number and I'll call you there, okay? Oh, yeah, that would be better. You know, today's a killer. I got meetings scheduled every hour. Lots of clients. Big clients. You know, big deals today. Lots of big deals. Tonight. Call me tonight. Okay, I'll call you tonight. When? Mmm, how about eight? You're perfect. Uh, <laughs> I mean, perfect timing. No, please, I gotta go. I'll be waiting for your call. I won't eat till I hear from you. You won't let me starve to death, will you? I'm too young to die. What a smile. What a bot! She's perfect. We're perfect together. I know we are. You're the star. You went out and did it. Overcame and underbid it. You're the star. How bizarre. When I stop and think about it, then I simply want to shout it from afar. You went out to hold the feelings only that. I gotta go check my horoscope. What if she doesn't call? What if she loses the number? I'll never see her again. I know. I'll put my number on her windshield, just in case. God, what if it blows away? What if someone takes it? Damn. Now I'm late for work. I can't go to work. This is too important. I'll call in lovesick. I just can't lose her. Do girls actually like guys who are really aggressive? I don't think so. Have John wait later on. What a smile! What a bod! She's perfect. A 15. You jerk. You should have gone after her. She was just playing hard to get. What if you never see her again? I know. I'll put a note and my number on her windshield. Nah, she's not going to buy that. She gets hit on every day. Damn. I should have gone after her. Now I'll never see her again. Shoot, I got to get to work. No, damn it, I can't. This is more important than work. I'll just wait here for her. Nah, 
she'll think I'm a jerk. But who cares? God, I hate rejection. She's worth the risk. I can't miss out on this. We're too perfect together. Hit A now. Jane may be daddy's girl, but she's no slouch when it comes to getting what she wants. Besides, John's really a whim. Jane makes a move on him before he can count to ten. Watch out, John! My name's Jane. Hi, um, John. We've got to stop meeting like this, baby. Better than a singles bar. At least we can hear each other. Uh, you are single. Yes, very. Unfortunately, I'm in a rush. First day at a new job. Here's my number. Call me sometime. I'll call you. I'll call you tonight. How's tonight? Can I call you tonight? You can call me anytime. Like I said, you can call me anything. I mean, anytime. And if you want anything, all you have to do is ask. What a smile! What a body! What a kiss! She's a 15, no a 20! She's a damn thousand! And I got her number! I can't believe it! Well, I didn't exactly get it. She gave it to me. How could she give me her number? She doesn't even know me! She's a slut! I could be an axe murderer. I don't care if she's aggressive and bold. She probably just uses men for her own selfish, perverted purposes. She's probably afraid of a commitment. Probably never had a real relationship. She won't give a damn if I don't have an orgasm. Selfish bitch. She'll just use me. God, I don't believe it. We're perfect together. Wait a minute. Something's wrong. The area code. Which area code? What the frig area code is it? LA's got at least a dozen. I know. Simple, I'll just make a dozen calls. You jerk. She gave you a phony number. That's why she was so easy. Too easy. God, I love it. She's much worse than I thought. Damn, I should have gone after her. What if I never see her again? I know. I'll put a note with my number on her windshield. Nah, she won't buy it. A beauty like that gets hit on all the time. Damn, if she doesn't call, I... I'll die! Man, I gotta get to work. You know, this is more important than work. Oh, God, I have to wait for her. I know. I'll play with her rearview mirror till she comes back. I just gotta see her again. Qualifications are outstanding, your recommendations superb, and yes, I know I promised you a job, but what happened was completely out of my control. Your position was canceled just an hour ago. I'm sure you'll find another job soon. <laughs> but Mr. Thresher, I came all the way from El Monte. I was looking forward to this job so much, and, and I do love downtown LA. I mean, I don't like the muggers or the dirt or the slums only two blocks away or the trash or the homeless or the poverty or the crime or the potholes or every other person asking for a handout, but I really do love L.A. There, there. Please, call me Mark. Oh, God, this is the most humiliating experience of my entire life. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Jane. If you're looking for work, you'll have lots of humiliating experiences. <laughs> but isn't there something here for me? I'll, I'll, I know, I'll start in the mail room. I'll empty trash. I'll, can I clean up offices? I'll, I'll even make coffee. I, I can work my way up the organization. I... I just need someone to give me a chance, please. Mr. Thresher, I don't have a lot of money. I was counting on this job, praying for this. Oh, God, Mark, I'm, 
I'm desperate. Life isn't that harsh. Give Jane something to hope for. Well now, perhaps something can be worked out after all. <gasps> you don't mean it! As a matter of fact, I've been wanting a personal secretary for some time. Would you be interested in that position? Oh, yes! Yes, Mr. Thresher! Of course, it's a full-time job, not just for the summer. You'd have to quit college. But I would... Of course, we do have a tuition support plan so that you can complete your degree at night. Oh, that'll work out just fine. Thank you, Mr. Thresher. Of course, you won't have much time for night school. You'll be traveling a lot on this job. Oh, I'd love to travel. I was hoping you'd say that. You'll be traveling with me, of course. With you? Is that a problem? Well, I mean that... Strictly I... business, Jay. No hanky-panky on this job. Don't you worry. I just want to show you the ropes. Oh, thank God. For a moment there, I thought you were one of those kinky, perverted bosses who got his kicks from exploiting his employees. I'm so relieved to hear you're not one of those. Oh, you have a wild imagination, Jay. I like subordinates who can fantasize. Ooh, I have all kinds of fantasies. Well, we'll get into that later. So what do you say? Well, okay, boss. It sounds just great. I'd love to learn all about the ropes. Thank you, Mr. Thresher. Oh, you're welcome. And please, call me Mark. Sure thing, Mark. I just love to be your personal secretary. Will $40,000 be adequate? $40,000! I thought so. Now, your first assignment starts today. I'll be spending the weekend at my luxurious bachelor pad in Pacoima. And I'm leaving at 4. Yes? What would you like me to do? Make coffee? Oh, no, no. I want you to be back here at four, packed and ready to go. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Then it is real. I got the job, Mr. Thresher. I mean, Mark, how can I ever thank you? Please, don't worry about thanking me. I just want us to work as closely together as the dear Lord will permit. See you at four. Oh, yes, sir. And thank you, sir. I'm so glad you're a religious man. Are you in the ministry? No, but your visit has made me think about starting one. <sighs> oh, I'm so glad I inspired you. Yes, you are a very exciting, I mean inspiring young lady. Oh, thank you, sir. We'll see you at four. Ah, uh, yes, I'll see you at four. Jane, I had to wait for you. I couldn't leave things to fate or that stupid person controlling the story. I've been thinking about you all day. I know it sounds crazy, but I love you. I love everything about you. I love you like I've never loved anyone in my life. You've got to... Don't touch me, you, you hormone. I'm earning $40,000 a year. I'm a professional now. their romance and your story. Jane ends up with the wrong man and John's eating asphalt. Some matchmaker you turned out to be. Wait till you see your score after this. <laughs> Why not give the girl a fighting chance? She was young and stupid in that scene. Did you really think he was going to offer her a job? Come on, take a closer look at this guy. He's pure sleaze. All right, I tell you what. I'll give you one more chance to get these lovebirds together. I hope you're luckier with your own love life than you have been with this story. Want to try again? Hit the A button now. Life isn't that harsh. Give Jane something to hope for. Poor Jane. She got turned away. You know,
we get at least 200 qualified applicants for each position here. And without exception, every single solitary applicant is desperate. Do you hear me? Desperate. Do you think I can't see through all this corny melodrama of yours? Do you think that I'm an idiot? You're acting. All of you applicants are acting. You're acting like you don't know where your next meal is going to come from. I hate people looking for work. You're all filthy slime. You're part of that seething, oozing mass of unemployment. Just look at you. You waltz in here with your perky little face and your bouncy little breast, and you think you can walk out with a job. Well, I'm going to kick that sweet little butt of yours out on the street. You and your sniveling little suburban education. You think you can just go into your crying act and get a job anytime you want. I'll bet you're a daddy's girl, aren't you? Aren't you? Used to getting whatever you want whenever you want it. All you have to do is start bawling your little head off and daddy gives you whatever you want. Well, things are different in the real world. Uh... Thank you for your time, Mr. Thresher. Jobs are for those who are worthy. Jobs are precious and few. As you've just discovered, perhaps this will be a lesson for you, young lady. Perhaps you'll take your next job seriously. If you can get another job, you pea brain preppy, you vain Volvo driving vulva. Have you ever thought of the employer's point of view? Huh? The guy who pays half your social security? Who do you think pays your dental and your health insurance? Santa Claus? And who do you think pays through the nose on workman's comp when you fake an injury? Do you think jobs grow on trees? Who do you think creates jobs? You don't give up! I'm going after that guy in the parking lot. I'm going to get my little hooks in him and I'm going to wheel him in and I'm going to marry him. I really do hate working. Daddy's right. My clock is ticking. It is time. I don't care if he is a biker. So what if he looks like James Dean? James Dean? My God, he is a rebel, not a geek. Oh, a rebel. I love rebels. I just hope he doesn't have a cause. I hate men with causes. They're such lousy lovers. Oh, I don't care if he does have a cause. I'm desperate. I don't even care if he doesn't have money. The poor thing, he's not a geek or a dork. God, I hate geeks and dorks. I'll do anything not to marry a geek or a dork. I'll even marry a biker. I don't give a damn about Daddy. He hates rebels and bikers. Oh, please be there. Wait! Wait! Who are you? I don't even know your last name! Where can I find you? Damn you! Do you know how many Johns there are in L.A.? Oh no, he's gone! I blew it! I blew it! I'll never see him again. Who picked this story? Damn you! I'll never forgive you! Now I'll be miserable for the rest of my life, thanks to you! Too bad, but hey, she wouldn't go for a guy like me anyway. Too classy. She wants some executive in a Mercedes, not a plumber on a bike. She's looking for someone who wears a tie every day. Oh, just my luck with women. We could have been perfect together. Yeah, they could have been perfect together, but thanks to you, that won't happen. Hope you never have to write stories for a living. John has you to thank for his unlucky love life, and Jane would kill to get her hands on you. You screwed up, but hey, it wouldn't be the first time you screwed up a relationship, right? You want another chance? Bring your score up some so it won't seem you're brain dead when it comes to this boy-girl thing? Well, that was a smart choice. Want to try again? Life isn't that harsh. Give Jane something to hope for. Poor Jane. She got turned away. Note, you must be 18 or over to take a look at this decision. You know, perhaps something can be worked out after all. Yes? Take your clothes off, Jane. I beg your pardon? 
You know, we get at least 200 qualified applicants for every position here. It's those people who do that little extra thing. They're the ones who get ahead. I mean, get ahead. Take my clothes off? You can't be serious. I'm not whistling Dixie, Jane. Now, if you're serious about this job, you'll follow my first directive and remove your clothing. Here? Now? Read my lips. told me about this part of the interview. I, I remember when I was just a little girl and, and I got lost in the park and I felt so alone. I couldn't find my daddy. He was nowhere around. No one was around. I, I just sat down and bawled my little head off until... Take your damn clothes off! Now see how your sick curiosity led Jane into this mess? My God, what kind of perverted monster are you? Jane says no to this disgusting proposal. If you really enjoyed the shower scene in this storyline, check out this decision. I promise I'll get the job if I do this one thing, Mr. Thresher? I give you my personal guarantee, my dear. Well, I guess it'll be all right, won't it? Of course it'll be all right. You'll be very happy working under me. Well, okay then. That's better. That's the spirit. I knew you could do it. Hope you don't mind being videotaped. Mark, how did you know? Know what? But I like this kinky stuff. Don't be shy, Mark. I know you really want it. I've seen a lot of men like you. Big boys with big cars in big offices with their big chests puffed up all the time. All of this show to make up for that teeny little penny, right? <laughs> Deep down inside, you're just a confused little boy, aren't you, Mark? I... You really don't like being the boss, do you, Mark? You'd rather have somebody else be the boss, wouldn't you? I... 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 You'd rather be my subordinate, wouldn't you, Mark? Now take your clothes off, you filthy little boy! I... 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 Oh, oh yes! Yes, yes! Get down on your knees, you bad boy! Oh, please, please! You promise to be a good boy for Jane? You gonna do every little thing Jane tells you to do? Yes! Oh, oh yes! Yes, but please be gentle! Now, what was my salary? Whatever you want, I don't care! Be gentle, please! Just don't hurt me! Don't hurt me, please! That's a good boy. We know who's the boss now, don't we, Mark? Oh, now you've done it? You've really done it! How could you make Jane into such a perverted young thing? She was an innocent girl before you started screwing around with this story. Is this what you want? I've guided a lot of people through this story, but I've never seen such a disgusting series of plot choices in my life. Now that I know who I'm dealing with, I'm going to give you one last chance to redeem yourself and get this story back on track. After this little episode, your score may be the lowest in this game's history. I hope you enjoy Saturday Night Television.
I'm sick. I made the wrong move. Please give me another chance. Jane says no to this disgusting proposal. You promise I'll get the job if I do this one thing, Mr. Thrasher? This little gesture will prove you're a team player, Jane. You have my word you'll get the job. Well, I guess it'll be all right this one time, won't it? Of course it will. You'll be very happy here working under me. Well, okay then. Why don't you get comfortable? Take a seat in that other chair. Now that's better. That's the spirit. I knew you could do it. Hope you don't mind being videotaped. Oh, Mr. Thrasher, Mark, I don't mind if you don't. You think I'm an idiot? You, you think you can walk in here with that perky little face and those bouncy little breasts of yours, and you get whatever you want? I'm gonna teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Little bitch, no one does that to me. in distress? Chased by a killer wielding a letter opener? Well, sport, you think you can handle this choice without getting the lowest score in the history of this game? Who the hell are you? I'm taking over this story. Over my dead body? character and that horrible music. Name's Thelma. I'm what's known as a takeover artist wanted in 30 states for hijacking fiction. Probably seen my face at the post office for terrorizing those book of the month club romance novels. Now, if this is the first time you've had a story hijacked, well buckle up, cause I'm in charge. Now, Let's review the story up to this point. I'll just look at the choices you've made so far. Yes. Ahem, <clears throat> I see. Well, what happened there? I don't see how you... How could you do that? I don't believe it. How could you make such choices? Were you raised in a barn? These are the most disgusting series of plot choices I have ever seen. Well, let me look at your score. You deserve every minus point you have gotten, and even more. You will hear from me again at the next choice. Run, Jane, run. Run, John, run. John's not going to resort to violence. It's not politically correct these days. Choose this decision if you think he's mad enough to try something else. Help me 
me help! Run, Jane! Run! Stop right there, mister! Let her go, she's nothing but trouble! What a gorgeous tie! From your mother? Yeah, how did you know? Only a mother could give a son a tie like that. Well, I had to wear it because... You know, you've got a beautiful body. You must work out. You know, I ride motorcycles, too. Don't you just love the feeling of the power between your legs? I never really thought about it that Don't way. Don't be shy. Now, I know it's awkward. I've seen a lot of young men like you confused about their feelings. Confused? Well, yeah, I have been kind of messed up. Like I said, I know a lot about you. I can see it in your eyes. By the way, my name's Mark. My name's John. You're not confused now about your feelings, are you? Well, I kind of Now like... that's a start. Why don't we go someplace quiet where we can talk man to man? What do you say? Well, sure. Sure, why not? Daddy was right. Not all men are dorks and geeks. Some are dorks and some are geeks and some are... Would you like to meet my mother? You're not really that way, are you? Of course not. Try again. Run, Jane, run. Run, John, run. Help me, help! Run, Jane, run! <laughs> I'm here! Hold on!
a bitch. Ooh, wait till my daddy gets a hold of you. Call the police! Whoa, whoa, no police. Don't call the police. You're going to jail for what you did to me. What'd he do to you? He wanted me to strip for him to get a job. You're disgusting. <laughs> Go, call the police. Wait, wait a minute, whoa. Uh, I can make you an offer you won't refuse. There's no way you'll refuse it. It's been proven in many, many movies. What? A real job? Like in Working Girl? No, I'm offering you a lot more than that. Try five million dollars. Five million? For what? One night with you. I cannot believe how disgusting this story is. In the name of women throughout the world, I demand this story be stopped right now. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow this sexist trash to continue. I am going to liberate... What are you doing here? So much for that liberation front. I'm back in control now. No one takes over my story. Men have been beaten, kicked, slugged, and spat on throughout this sorry tale. I'm telling you, I've had it with these uppity women. They can take over businesses, they can take over the damn government for all I care, but the one thing they will not take over is my story. And this story ain't over till I say it's over. Now let me see how you screwed up this time. Uh-huh. Just as I thought. You know, I give you a simple little task like getting these two lovebirds together, and look what happens. I hate to imagine what your love life is like, now let's see if you can save Jane from yourself. How could anyone refuse? Jane goes for it. Who wouldn't? Five million bucks for a night with her? Hey, butt out. This is between me and Thresher, Mark. Now let me get this straight. You want to pay me five million big ones for a one-night stand? Hmm. That's right, sweet cheeks. Five million to experience your abundant charms. Hey, bub. Five million bucks just bought all my charms. Let's get to it. What, 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 what about us? Go ride your bicycle. You're boring me. God, I can't believe you're so easy. I should have known. First thing I saw were those slutty eyes of yours. Sultry eyes, biker. Right, Thresher? Right, Thresher? You know, he's right. You are easy. I overestimated you. For five million bucks, I get the whole weekend. A whole weekend? You whore. Hormone, what were you going to do, buy me a soda, expect the same thing? I ain't that easy. You want a weekend, it's going to cost you seven and a half million bucks, buddy. Well, with that kind of attitude, I just might reconsider this entire proposal. Now, wait just a minute, bub. Your original deal was five mil for one night, right? So what's seven and a half for two nights? I'm giving you a two and a half million dollar discount. That's way too rich. Five and a half and that's top dollar. No way, I ain't no slut. Seven. Six. Six and seven eighths. How much is that anyway? Too much for you. Five and three quarters. Too much and six eighths. Come on, you guys. This whole thing is ridiculous. Shut up, Hormo. I'm thinking. Six and a half and not a penny more. I mean less. I'm serious. That's it or I'm out of here. I'm tired of this. Six and a quarter or no deal. Oh, 
All right, now let's get started. <laughs> what are you laughing about? He can't even make payments on his Mercedes. There's no way he's going to spend five million bucks on a prostitute. Prostitute? You watch your mouth. I ain't no prostitute. Oh, yeah? What do you call this deal? It's business. Dasher's going to make me rich. Make me feel like a virgin. Right, Dasher? Take more than a weekend to do that. Shut your mouth. Okay, okay, so I'm easy, so what? Just don't tell my daddy about this one. Come on, Thresher, you got my number. You wore me down. I'll give you a break. You got me for the original price, five million for the whole weekend. Deal? What's wrong? You got the money, right? I asked you a question, bub. You got five million bucks for me or don't you? What, you don't think I'm worth five mil? How about a hundred? Why you... <laughs> I told you. How about a thousand for the weekend, huh? Huh? How about it? A thousand? Gee, I don't know. You got a thousand for me? Yeah, yeah, I got a thousand. But it's got to be for the whole weekend. I got this real nice, real luxurious bachelor pad in Pacoima. What do you say? We got a deal? What about the job? We'll talk about that over breakfast. Jane, you can't. He's such a slime ball. How, how, how could you? How, how could you go to bed with him? Jane, I love you. I didn't mean what I said. I mean, but five million's nothing compared to our love. You're a loser. Shall we, my dear? But of course. Just one question. How did you know? Know what, my lovely? I could be bought. I've seen a lot of young girls like you. Confused about love and money? The answer was in your eyes. My eyes? Really? The eyes are everything, my dear. Are they really slutty like he said? Yes, my dear, your friend was right. You are a slut. If it's in my eyes, then I can't help it. I was born this way. Whatever. I don't believe it. Daddy will be proud. I'm going to make it with a geek. Hey, Thresher, you belong to the lodge? Hey, congratulations. Now you've really screwed up the story. Think about it. Jane ends up with a hairball and enters the oldest profession in the book. Now John has to face his mother and Amy over dinner. John marries Amy, has three children to please his mother, and leads an unremarkable and miserable existence. You just ruined two lives in one scene. Way to go, sport. Now look. You can either end the story under these unfortunate circumstances, you have only yourself to blame for, by the way, or you can see what happens when Jane declines Thresher's ridiculous offer. Uh-oh, I screw up. Could you give me another run? How could anyone refuse? Jane goes for it. Who wouldn't? You know, Jane's really not that indecent. Choose this decision now. Who do you think you're talking to? Some bimbo? Who the hell do you think she is? Hey, let the lady speak for herself. Tell him. Tell him hell's gonna freeze over before you'd accept such a ludicrous offer. Jane. I love you. I loved you the moment we met. I waited for you. I idolized you. I've seen you in my dreams. It is a lot of money. But what about us? I, I, I couldn't stand it. Just knowing you, you, you were with him. Even if it is only one night. What's one lousy night? What were you going to do? Buy me pizza and expect the same thing? No, of course not. Jane, it's not that way. I don't want you for a night. I want you for a lifetime. I've been searching for me, for you. <laughs> right in slip?
that. I'm gonna paste that together. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh, that's All right. good. Uh, pregnant. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Jane, it's not that way. I don't want you for a night. I want you for a lifetime. I've been searching for you. I mean, okay, maybe you're not perfect. Maybe you do like money too much. Maybe you are a daddy's girl. Maybe you are spoiled rotten, but you can't be bought. That sort of thing only happens in movies. Who do you think you're kidding? It happens every day in the streets. How about a thousand for a couple of hours? Sure thing, buddy. Your place or mine. Whoa! You're disgusting! Then you two should be perfect together. He's all yours. Come on, Tiger, let's leave these lovebirds alone. Wait, whoa! Wait a minute! Can't leave me here with her! What about the police? Call the police! Deal's a deal. You called it. See, Thrasher? You can buy love. You just proved it. Don't worry, honey. He'll get his money's worth. Help! Help me! You can't, wait a minute, you can't leave me here! <laughs> I want to thank you for what you did. That was very brave. No one's ever done anything like that for me. Ah, oh, it was nothing. Did you, did you really mean what you said? You know how you felt about me? I've never felt like this about anyone. This is so crazy. I, I feel so overwhelmed. I love you so much. It's such a crazy world. If, if anything should happen, if, if something should keep us apart, oh, kiss me, Jane. Kiss me as if it were the last time. Well. Congratulations. It's finally getting steamy in the asphalt jungle. I don't believe you've made it this far, especially with a score like yours. Has John won over Jane with his heroics? Will he finally turn his life around and marry the woman of his dreams? Or would you like to see something completely different? Hey, give me the Hollywood ending. I'm a romantic person, you know. If you didn't like the first choice, choose the second one. John, I'm sorry, but there's something I have to tell you. Oh God, here it comes. She has some dark secret. She's got a boyfriend. I knew it. Someone this gorgeous has to have a boyfriend. Oh my God. What if she has a disease? Yes, what is it? I'm a virgin. Holy mother of God. This is unbelievable. A woman of her looks and she's still chaste, unspoiled, and she wants me? I'll be the first? I don't believe it. I'm going to marry a virgin in the 90s. Impossible. God, it's dirty work, but somebody's got to do it. Okay, so you have a disability. You're not alone, you know. There's lots of people with hidden disabilities. It's not a problem for me. But it is a problem. I know, I know. You think sex is dirty and disgusting. So you're saving it for someone who you really love, right? You don't understand. I want to stay a virgin. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Marrying a virgin's one thing. But being married to a virgin is another. Who ever heard of a virgin wife? I, 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 I don't understand. I'm going to become a nun. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Sure, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> now, come on, stop teasing me. I'm serious. I love you, Jane. I really do. And I love you, John, in ways that you'll never know. You see, ever since I was a little girl, I've known in my heart that I would serve God. But to do that, I have to sacrifice many pleasures. The moment we met, I knew you were a kind gentleman, despite your kinky motorcycle gear. I love you, John, but I have a destiny. You do understand, don't you? But, 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 I just saved your life. Don't you think you could reconsider? Maybe just for today? Maybe give me some quality time. <laughs>
John, I'm not a prude. I dated men. In fact, they called me a PT in high school. I never did figure out what that meant. But I've never, ever given any of them quality time. Come with me to church this Sunday and I'll show you some real quality time. But wait, wait. You see, I have this problem. It's congenital. Had it from the day I was born. Oh, you poor thing. What is it? Can I help? Well, you see, I get these urges deep down inside. Sometimes they're uncontrollable unless it's taken care of, like, right away. And you're having those urges right now? Oh, it's bad. I mean, really bad. Maybe you could just help me out this one time. I was born with the same problem. And one time, the urge became almost uncontrollable. Yes, and... and it came very, very close. And, and, and what happened? It was awful. I bet it was. What, what, what happened? Please, details. It took all my strength. The devil was in my soul that night. But I fought him off and, thank God, saved my virginity. Oh, yeah. Thank God. And thank you for saving it for me. My life would have been ruined if I'd lost it. Oh, yeah. Ruined. Saving virgins is my specialty. I'll pray for your soul. Right. He could use that. Can I at least buy you dinner? Oh, I'd love to, but... I've already got plans at my mother's. What a nice son. By the way, nice tie. Your mother give it to you? Well, you've done it again. All John wanted was a little nookie, and you matched him with a nun wannabe? And now he's headed for dinner with his mother, who's arranged a shotgun wedding. Fine ending you created. You'll never eat lunch in this town again. You actually believe that the other ending's better than this one? Hey, give me the Hollywood ending. I'm a romantic person, you know. I've never felt like this before. Uh, never. Me either. Ever. Maybe we should go somewhere and park. Uh, I mean talk. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. What, talk or park? Talk, for now. <laughs> I'm just testing. What about your work? I thought today was real busy for you. You just cleared up my schedule. John, I want to know everything about you. Where you live, what kind of work you do. That's so god-awful important. I like a man who takes his work seriously. I want to meet your mother uh, and... Uh, 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 Jane, hold on a sec. I don't want us to get started on the wrong foot here. There's something you have to know. Yes? What is it, dear? Well, you see, it's about my work. Um, 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 I'm really a plumber. Oh, I just love your sense of humor. You're such a joker. No, I'm serious. I'm really a plumber. John, plumbers don't wear ties. Now, come on, stop fooling around. I know. Why don't we get something to eat? I'm hungry. You have plans for dinner? Uh, no, I don't have plans for dinner anymore. Then why don't we go to my place? I'll cook something for you. You cook? Well, if it doesn't work out, we can call for pizza. That sounds great. What? My cooking or my pizza? It doesn't matter. You've got me eating out of your hand already. Now, let's just pretend I was a plumber. Would it matter to you? Now, stop it! You're such a jokester. I'm really a plumber. My nickname's Rooter. Okay, what if I was a janitor, or, or a garbage collector? Would it matter? John, I love who you are right now. What's wrong with being an account rep? What's the big deal? Why do you want to be someone you're not? Just be yourself, John. I'm trying, I'm trying. Just so long as you're not a lawyer. But don't insult me, Jane. I'd rather be a plumber. Are you sure you want to meet my mother? I want to know who's behind this. Give me the credits.
I want to know who's behind this. Give me the credits. Wow, you really want to go through this again? That's it, folks. Bye.